hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is exonuclease enzyme which is a very important enzyme used in gene cloning or genetic engineering in this video i am going to discuss two aspects namely first a short introduction to exonuclease enzyme and second application of exonuclease enzyme but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes used in gene cloning i have already uploaded video of it on my youtube channel link is in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this topic better so without a further delay let us understand exonuclease enzyme if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads exonuclease enzyme these are the enzymes which removes dna nucleotides by nibbing away at the end of the dna molecule they can act either on double strand or single strand molecules some acts on 3 prime terminus while others act on 5 prime terminus the degradation is progressive which means more the time of enzyme treatment short will be the segment available this figure represents exactly what exonuclease enzyme does that is removes dna nucleotides by nibbing away at the end of the dna molecule Now let us understand application part of exonuclease enzyme. There are three examples of exonuclease enzyme that are generally used in gene cloning. They are first BAM31, second exonuclease 3 and third lambda exonuclease. We will understand what each exonuclease enzyme does and what are their applications. First BAM31 This enzyme was isolated from Enterococcus aspergena It cuts DNA from both the ends Second Exonuclease 3 This was isolated from E coli and cuts on 3 prime end Its application It is used in preparation of single stranded DNA templates for sequencing by dye deoxy method Third lambda exonuclease it removes nucleotides from 5 prime end of duplex dna its application this enzyme is used as a substrate for terminal transferase that is from a duplex dna if nucleotides from 5 prime ends are removed 3 prime ends are free for action of terminal transferase second Also it can be used to convert double stranded DNA to single stranded DNA for sequencing purpose. Exonucleases are used in gene cloning during experiment for trimming DNA molecule for enhancing the gap induced by endonucleases etc. They can also be used to generate nested deletions made in DNA to study gene regulation. If you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you